to one too. So yeah, I'm here for my brother, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you actually didn't believe in us and our talent. Because you know what I'm saying? You said that you didn't want to rock with us as a group. You wanted to just fuck my bro. So fuck my bro. But we'll help, help, help out. You know, my bro wants us to love you. Yeah. For you to love us so we could get together and really become what we already had. Yeah. So he could realize that we don't also. So one, you know, was I'm in it adamant about that, you know what I'm saying, so he put us in situations like the Beat Nuts situation where off the books that he took us to the studio with Juju and them in the Corona, in the Corona uh, duplex out there where he was living at, and them niggas just played that beat and he told us, so write, 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 and he answers. so we started writing and shit and whatever. Oh, so y'all wrote that joint? No, we wrote our parts. Oh, oh. They wrote oh. their parts, but... I mean, but y'all was writing your own shit, though. Because Pun told us, like, write yeah. just in case, just in case. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we was like, okay, cool. So the nigga told me to, you know, go after one when he says that's it, that's it. You know, so we used to always go back and forth. If you check out like toe to toe, the Veronica joint, we used to always go off the last word. So he made me do the that's it, that's it, yo, punish your pass it, the last it's rappers that really blast your casket and big willy niggas like Billy Baskett, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So that style already, that was us. You know what I'm saying? And I got a feature on that because my brother beasted on, you know what I'm saying? I right. felt funny because I was like, damn, man, nigga Joe won't get mad because we, we gonna think we using this connects. Yeah. You know, he, he telling you, where, it, where they need you and you bringing us and that nigga don't like us like that so it was always that and I wasn't signed to Telescope or Sace wasn't signed to Telescope he felt that type of shit too like we use it like we gonna go do that and then we'll get another deal somewhere else like and we never was thinking about that shit we didn't know nothing about the game we, we just want you to fucking let's roll together yeah. that was us you know yeah. some primitive shit um, and then you know after that off the book shit that's when my name was high whatever you know, industry niggas started listening and they, I was up next. It was a bit of war for me. And then he said, yeah, yeah, he started. That's when he started, you know. Yeah, well now, he, now, now, now he's a little, joint. you know, yeah, lolly popping. Yeah. So now I'm like, I'm still, uh, you know, I'm still like happy that he upset me, you know? Cause I was yeah. like, oh, no doubt, but nigga, hey, nigga, you did that for my brother. Look what you did for my bro. I know you're gonna take care of me. So come on, man, let's do it, let's rock together. You know what I'm saying? I signed a contract with him. He got me an Atlantic deal, you know what I'm saying? For like 2.4. I got fifty thousand in, in advance. I don't even know what she got. He was the middleman, so you know yeah. he got. Well, I know he got a ten million dollar deal from <laughs> from Atlantic. He got yeah, a ten million dollar yeah. deal, right? On my shit, it was oh, part of my you. deal. Right. Part of my deal. Cuban Link signs two point four, and he gets a ten million dollar contract for Teller Squad Records. Give him the ten million dollars. Plus, you know, he took from the top. He gave me an NSX. He bought me an NSX, a red car. Beautiful, I loved it because it was suppressing. My, my nigga accepted me. Oh shit, look where he treat me like a fucking G. He yeah. finally accepts me. Okay, the car was a fucking hoop He had a fucking problem that nobody could fix in the clutch. Great though, still mint condition, but it was about 10 years or younger than what it was. It was like 92, and I got it in 98. Like eight years ago. Oh, but still, I appreciate it. I crashed the shit one time, yeah. smashed it. <laughs> kind of totally drunk as fuck. Me and this guy Tacoli on and shit. At the time, it was my man. He was in there and I fucking did the zigzag and I zigged too much. Did a zig and I fucking smashed the nigga car. In the back. That shit just bend it, like, folded like a fucking like foil. Anyway, now I'm no license, drunk. I get all the way to the Bronx to fucking my, uh, what is that? White Plains over there. White Plains and, uh, White Plains Road? Under the train station right yeah, there by yeah, yeah. Parkchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I pull up to that gas station and uh, 10 fucking cops come at me because the whole front is smoking. Yeah. <laughs> the wheels is this little because the shit was rubbing on the metal. So I'm like, I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Then you know, a guy that I knew from the cops, that actually, uh, his name is Ephraim. Ephraim oh, Rivera. Yeah. He, he actually does, he did the power shift. Yeah, I've seen that name before. Yeah, Ephraim, yeah, 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 yeah. I got him inside too. He was a cop. Oh. Uh, you know, a gold shield too. Uh, and I brought him in because he, you know, nigga, he's a nigga that actually seen me grow up. Like we, I went to 63rd and Sheridan Avenue. And I came from Puerto Rico, from Cuba and all that shit. I went there and I know the whole family, right? my niggas. I thought so. He was doing his thing. He was working on me, with me with a clothing deal. Also, he was doing the thug shirts. Uh, but he's talented, talented. You know what I'm saying? As far as like videos and shit, haircut. He's, he's a talented guy. So I figured, yo, you with me, don't worry about it, you cop shit, my nigga, you my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And look, from that, he became fucking shooting these videos and all of that for, you know, 50 Cent. And to this day, he's done, you know, big, big time work. Anyway, uh, so I was working with a, a clothing deal with that nigga. Same niggas from Joe, 560 gear. Yeah, yeah. Wanted to give me a deal. Nigga Joe never told me about it. 
knew about it. So now I'm like, yo, my nigga, why you not gonna tell me the niggas wanna give me a deal for clothing? Man? I wanna make some money too. I wanna like clothing. I wanna make my own stage Why not? Let's get this paper. You still get my 20%. Yeah. You still get money off me. Yeah. So if you know if you've been part of it, you can handle the deal. Maybe you could skim off the top like you always do. But I left I gave you that much trust that you you know I want you to be part of it. He said, nah, nah, I don't do it. He was jealous of it. Maybe that would start fucking with him. Me, whatever. Yeah. Uh, that became a problem because I was like, you know what? I'm still doing this shit. Fuck all that. I've done gave you 20% of at least 80 shows that I've done in my fucking career without an album deal, without even signing to you. 80 shows. And let's say seven to ten thousand a pop back then. Uh -huh. So that's 20% to you. 10% to my other manager was his flex. But I don't rest in peace. He passed away. That was the real manager. And then, you know, of course the government. So now, okay, and, my DJ, and my DJ and all that, you know, my hype man, all that shit, I'm already losing like 40% of my fucking check being lawyer. I'm not in a contract with you as my manager, but we know you're my manager. I'm giving Joe that that, that name and that, that, that position because that was across the board. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Remember, you, you told Pun, once them niggas, once you get hot, you put your mans on. But now you're skipping that part and you get to us because we made ourselves hot. So now you're skipping that part. So now we rocking with you. That's family, cool. So all of that, my album is in the works. He not even fucking arguing with fucking uh, the Atlantic Records niggas over time. He's over there balling because he got $10 million. Now he's doing everything else except the Cuban Link album. When it was his turn, I was up there every day working alongside with him. When Plum was in his, in his works, I was up there. So I was the nigga that was always there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I felt a certain way because he wasn't me. He's supposed to be leading me through this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I felt that that little uh, animosity there for me. That you didn't give a fuck about money. But then I go back to the oh, like, oh, this nigga didn't give a fuck about me. So what are you doing? Why are you doing this more important than my turn, my first time, that, you know, the pretty boy that he popped up and he gassed everybody on. Now it's his fucking uh, rookie, you know, album coming up and he not even around, giving fucking the same thing that he did with fun. So now I'm feeling a way. We go to Bridgeport. Shit pop off. Fight. Nigga runs. He runs away from the club. Let leave us all there. Joe runs? Out of here. That nigga was halfway in New York already. <laughs> nigga, we over there fighting twice. <laughs> big niggas too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you heard niggas, but that was a big joint. You know what I'm saying? Bridgeport. Um yeah, niggas pulling out and everything. Yeah, we thumping. I'm thumping. I'm snuffing niggas. I'm doing whatever we doing. We, we thumping with the big dogs. Big time niggas from over there. But, you know, it was a fight. Whatever. This nigga is already gone. Halfway to New York, like he's the fucking president. Now, I remember all the times that this nigga put us in situations where we had to fucking stand up for this. You can't, what is going on? That's yeah. when I seen the funny shit. I, of course, got mad. As soon as I get back to the Bronx, I go to the punk house. I'm gonna be the mediator because I'm telling this nigga, yo, my nigga, what the fuck you run away with my gun? Like, niggas use my gun to get you out of the club. How the fuck that happens? I never left niggas side. Never. I, 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 you know, that shit got me tight. That was a big argument. Then there was another time where it was me and, and Folk Master Flex shit when he came out of his face yeah. and he was saying um, shit like, Go ahead, nigga, say the same rhyme. But you always gotta say the same rhyme you always say. Because back in the days, you already know we only got like three fucking rhymes yeah, in the chamber yeah, yeah. that we remember. And even though I wrote mad shit, I wrote mad shit, but I don't remember three rhymes. Yeah. That's just what we was. We lazy in that way. We was. Even him. But he didn't, like, he knew that, you know, that he had shit in the stash because Putin wrote it for him. I'm again, bro. So I, yeah. in front of Frank Master Flex, he said that shit. I kind of feel embarrassed, like. Why like I said it was the same rhyme, nigga. This shit is fire. Yeah, but you, come on. And then he tried to sell me that, and I was like, what you, one you're gonna say? The one pun wrote you, or the one I'm getting wrote you? Yeah. Which one are you gonna say?